The jazz blues is one of the most important song forms in jazz, and it is my belief that if we master a jazz blues, we'll have an unfair advantage with all the rest of jazz improv and learning jazz standards. So in today's video, I want to share with you a really powerful practice plan for mastering a jazz blues that really is going to help you get deep inside of it and leave you feeling really confident with improvising over it. That's coming right up. What's up, Brent here from LearnJazzStandards.com, which is a blog, a podcast, and videos all geared towards helping you become a better jazz musician. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button below to never miss out on anything going on here. Like I said, jazz blues, really important, but a lot of people don't have an actual practice plan, a way forward to really, really get uh, some really powerful transformation in their jazz playing. Uh, this is a clip that I'm about to play from you from my masterclass called Boost Your Jazz Blues. I'm going to leave that in the card above and also in the description below. So this is just a small clip from that. Now, just a little bit of context. In this video, I talk about three different strategies. One is mapping, which includes uh, exercises that I have for guide tones and chord tones and mapping out scales over a jazz blues. And the second one uh, is uh, blues heads, learning blues heads, the repertoire to learn the language and also have heads to play. And the third strategy is uh, to work on etudes using what I call the three pillars of jazz improvisation, which are really just what I consider uh, pillars of jazz language as far as it goes with the blues, but using etudes as the vehicle. So with that context in mind, here is this masterclass. Okay, so pay close, close attention to this part. Literally, this is where the transformation is because everything else doesn't matter otherwise, all right? So first of all, I made a promise to you there's going to be pizza in this master class. And so so here it is, right? So here's a pizza. It looks delicious. We all love pizza. I absolutely love pizza, especially as a New Yorker. And um, we, we know that it's delicious to eat. But of course, there's different components that make it up, right? We have the dough, which even in and of itself has different components to make that up. We have the tomato sauce, which as you can see, there's also other things like garlic and onions and all this stuff. And then we have the cheese, which there's lots of things that make cheese as well. And then, of course, we have the toppings, right? Like pepperoni or whatever, whatever you want in your pizza, right? Hope I'm not making anybody. I'm making myself hungry here. And uh, of course, then there, what if you're trying to make a bunch of different pizzas, right? And they're different styles, different kinds of pizzas, like not just one pizza, right? Well, then you're going to need to process, right? You need a process to be able to do that. And, you know what, what? What's my point here, right? Like, what's what the heck's up with pizza here? When we learned the what, when we learned about the strategies and all of this other stuff, these are just things. Without an actual plan, without an actual process, we have nothing. And that is what I am an expert at. That is what my superpower is, is helping students get from A to B. So I'm going to show you my formula. It's important, though, that you understand that process is progress. Process is always progress. It's not about learning fancy new tricks and all this stuff. It's all about having a real strategy, all right? So my secret formula for jazz blues acceleration. Are you ready for it? This is the big moment. Drum roll, please. Um, so here it is. All right. Here it is. My secret formula for jazz blues success for acceleration. Now, I want to direct your attention to the top. New material. We start with new material. Then going counterclockwise, we transpose. Then we transpose again. Then we transpose again. And finally, we create. Okay, I'm going to explain all that in one second, um, but one important thing I want to address that's going to be important to understanding my, my, my strategy here is that, yes, indeed, you guessed it, we are going to be taking things through all 12 keys. That is an important part of this, and there's a reason for that, okay? So really quickly, why 12 keys, okay? So first of all, internalization. The more you play information over and over and over again, the more you're going to internalize it. You're just going to know it's second nature. And reason number two is it crushes technical limitations. If you can't play uh, in A flat or you can't play in B, like, and if you're uncomfortable in one key more than another, it, this starts to crush that. And this is going to like just ex just blow up your jazz playing. And then number three is it boosts your ears. Like you're just going to naturally be improving your ears as you take things to different keys. So this is just like why everybody says to do this. All right. So here's my strategy as we apply it to the things we actually learn in this masterclass today. So at the very top, we have new material, which is the three strategies we talked about, right? We talked about mapping, we talked about blues heads, and we talked about the, the three pillars. And we start with concert C and then moving clockwise, then we transpose it. We're not learning new information. 
uh, in concert F on the left there, right? We're just simply taking the etude that we learned. We're simply taking the mapping. We're taking the blues head that we learned and we're transposing it to concert F. Okay, and then we do the same thing, not new material. We're just transposing it. And then we move around again to concert E flat. Nothing new. We're just transposing it. Okay, this is like, <laughs> this is like, this is going to blow your mind, right? And then at the end, we have a really, really important part, which is the creation side, right? Once we've like learned this material and started to internalize it, now we need to create something. We need to basically say, where am I at now after I learned all this stuff and exercised it and like recycled it? And that's where we go to composing your own 12 bar etude or just practicing improvising and composing the etude being like the really big one that's going to like revolutionize your playing. But you're not doing it just doing anything you want, right? You're focusing on one of the pillars of jazz language that we worked on for jazz blues language, right? So we have new material, transpose, 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 and then we compose, right? Then we create. And this is really what's going to just solidify the neurons in your brain and really get you firing on all cylinders, right? So of course that wasn't 12 keys, right? That was only four keys. So we have three stages to my plan here, to my process. And we have stage one, stage two, and stage three. And as you can see, it's all the same thing, right? We're just rotating new material basically we're learning three material twice all right so like seriously for one second just think about how masterful this can be for your jazz playing if you're actually learning a blues head in all 12 keys you're mapping out all 12 keys and you're also learning a new etude over a specific concept in all 12 keys like dude it's gonna blow your mind like you're, you're gonna be you seriously are gonna have some serious mastery and transformation of your jazz blues playing so all right, so I hope you found that helpful. This is a really powerful practice plan. Now, obviously, um, this kind of has to do with a course that I have uh, in the material that I provide in a course, but you can fill in your own material. You don't have to use my stuff to do that. So fill in the blanks and use this framework as a way to structure your jazz blues practicing. Of course, if you want to see that whole entire masterclass, it's a really valuable one and it's free. Uh, go ahead and go to boostyourjazzblues.com or go, go ahead and go to the description below below or the card up above to check that out. All right, that's all for today's video. Really appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.